Today I'm going to show you how to add a satellite and transponder to this receiver, the Coquit K1. This is a very inexpensive receiver. I only paid $38 Canadian for mine, but I know they're very common. And I've had some viewers ask about how to add North American satellites and transponders into this receiver. So I'm going to show you that today. This receiver has uh, lots of satellites preloaded in it for the Eastern satellites, which are on the other side of the world. So those aren't any use to us. So if you're going to use this in North America, you're going to have to add your own satellites and transponders in. Now it's important to remember that no matter how many satellites and transponders you enter, if your dish is not aimed properly, you're not going to get any channels. So get your dish set up as accurately as you can before you start. Once you get going, you could always tweak the dish a bit, but it's a lot easier if your dish is aimed properly first. The satellite I'll be entering into the receiver today is the 87 West satellite. And that's what this dish is tuned to, 87 West, KU band. So we're at the main menu here. We're gonna click installation. And there's little colored buttons on your remote. You can see them on the bottom of the screen. You're going to hit the add button. And this little box comes up here. Now to enter the name, just press the OK and a keyboard comes up. Now you can give your satellite a name. <clears throat> this is going to be 87 West that we're entering here. So I'm just going to quickly add that name. And this will be a KU band, by the way. 87 West. KU. All right, then we'll head over to the Enter key. Push OK, and that saves it. Now we have to enter the longitude of the satellite. So just use the down arrow to move to longitude and use the numbers on the remote to enter this. Zero, eight, seven. And then you've got to cycle back around and use the, it's a little bit cumbersome. Move up and then back down and then hit the side arrow. I'll show you again. Move up, back down and hit the side arrow to change east or west. So up and then back down west and then hit the yellow button to save. Okay, so now we've got our satellite installed. We don't have a transponder installed yet. We need to do a couple more things here. We'll use the right arrow to go into this menu here. Now that LNB is wrong because this is a KU band dish. It's a small dish. 5150 is the correct frequency setting for your LNB for a C-band dish, but we don't have a C-band dish here. We're putting in a KU-band LNB. So click the OK button, and the frequency of the LNB I'm using is 10750. Here in North America, the frequencies are going to either be 10750 for a... Uh, standard LNB and if you're using a universal you're going to hit 10600 but I'm using a standard so mine's going to be 10750. Now we don't have a transponder you can see it says no TP here we're going to add one now so what we're going to do is uh, hit exit first of all and save this information hit exit and then hit yes for save Okay, now we're going to add a transponder. So I've got 87 West highlighted. We can go ahead and hit the OK button to check mark that. On the bottom of the screen, you can see the uh, colored buttons there. Hit the yellow one, TP, transponder. Now on the left side, you can see there's a list of transponders and there are none. We're going to add one now. Hit the green button on your remote for add. Now, the information for the transponder, you're going to have to look that up. It depends on the satellite you're trying to receive. The transponder information I'm going to enter is for the Florida channel 
on satellite 87 West KU band. And you can find all this information on LingSat or TVROSat. Those are two reliable websites that have all of the satellite and transponder information you need to enter into your receiver. So we're going to enter the frequency here now, and we just have to use the number buttons on the remote. So the frequency for this transponder is 1, 2, 0, 4, 4 megahertz. Now I'll just press the down arrow and go to the symbol rate. The symbol rate of this transponder is 0, 3, 2, 0, 0. Now you have to select, is it a horizontal or vertically polarized transponder? And you'll see when you look up this information, there's an H or a V beside the frequency. And this is a vertical transponder. So and I've got my information set. Now I can go down to save, click OK to save that transponder. Now it's saved. And you saw what happened right away. The signal meter shot up instantly. We're getting 91 signal intensity, 72 quality. That means that my receiver is recognizing that transponder from the dish. And that's why it's important to have your dish aimed as close as you can. Now, if you don't get a signal at first, you might have to go back out and readjust your dish. But you have to have the dish aimed correctly or you won't get a signal. Okay, so now we can hit the menu button and that'll take us back to the satellite list. And here we are back at the satellite list. 87 West is checked off. We're getting a good signal on our transponder. So for this next part, this is something that I need to do on my dish setup. You probably will not need to do this. You can see I've got highlighted here the DISEC. 1.0 menu. A DISEC is a special switch that we can use to bring multiple satellites into one cable to a receiver. I use one of these DISEC switches on my dishes because I have more than one dish. You probably don't have that. You won't need to do this. You'll leave this on disable. Okay. I have to change mine to port one because that's the port on my switch that my receiver has to look for this satellite on but you're probably going to leave it like this okay so once again i have to change this to port one because i'm using a dissect switch and if you're interested in learning about dissect switches i did a video on that that's available on my channel have a look at that if you're interested in using more than one satellite dish a DISEC switch is for you. But for most people watching this, you're going to leave this on disable because you're probably not using a DISEC switch. Okay. So I'm going to change mine to port one. I'm going to hit exit now and then scroll over to yes and hit yes to save. So now you can see that everything's saved. Now I'm ready to do a satellite scan. We've got a good strong signal, we're locked in. I'm gonna press the green button for multi-scan. Now, here's a couple of settings you wanna pay attention to. Some satellites have pay channels, you won't get those. That just takes longer to do the scan, and then you have to go back and delete a lot of those channels later, it's kind of a pain. Make sure you have it set to FTA free to air. Those are free channels. Now you can scan it for TV and radio. You can scan it for just TV, just radio. I'm going to leave it on TV and radio. I don't think there's any radio channels on this satellite, but that's okay. And you want to make sure blind scan is selected. A blind scan basically will scan any satellites that the receiver can find. It'll scan them for channels. That's the best one to use. Now we're ready to do a scan. We'll hit search. And in a minute, 
you'll see some channels pop up and there's the first transponder on the bottom and one channel. Okay, so here's the channels that we picked up. So this uh, first channel, channel one, I'm not sure what this is actually. It's some kind of a, looks like some kind of a feed or something for a, a football game or something. It could also be a news station uh, that just has a, a live camera on, I'm not really sure. Okay, and then we have the DC channel. Uh, this normally has a camera focused on the White House, but they also have news feeds on here. So they could have random cameras of anything, news, uh, cameras from different cities. I'm going to go into the EPG, the Electronic Program Guide here. This is kind of nice because you can see the name and a small screen of the channel. Okay, next we have the PBS channels. This is PBS Create. This is PBS Kids. This is uh, PBS. Although they have kids programming on right now. These channels come from Louisiana Public Broadcasting. So that's one of the uh, one of the hallmarks of uh, Channel uh, or Satellite 87 West is the free PBS along with the uh, news feeds. Okay, so here's the shot of the White House. This is what you normally see on the DC channel unless they have uh, a news reporter um, giving a report. So CNN news source feeds will have kind of spontaneous news coverage. It's all unscripted, unedited, raw footage that uh, needs to be uh, edited and prettied up for the nightly news. Shot of the Capitol building. And these are all the news source feeds here. Okay, and this is, I believe, the New York State Lottery feed. Um, that's the only thing I've ever seen on here. So once in a while, they have lottery drawings on here. This is the Florida channel. And this is all Florida government business on here. They do have some history programs pertaining to Florida as well, though, once in a while. And this is the Florida lottery feed here. So they have drawings every night or every few nights usually. And that is a video on adding a satellite and transponder to the Coquit K1 DVBS2 FTA satellite receiver.